Hi, this is Bill Dawson, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Titanium CoffeeScript plugin in Titanium Desktop Projects. Yesterday's video showed how to install the plugin and use it with Titanium Mobile Projects. Please do look at yesterday's video for the installation instructions because this video assumes you've already installed the plugin. However, if you did indeed install the plugin yesterday, you will need to go and get the latest version of the plugin.py and reinstall it because I had to make some adjustments to support desktop. So after yesterday's video, some people asked if the plugin could be used with Titanium Desktop. In fact, Titanium Desktop does not support the compiler plugin architecture that Titanium Mobile does. But there were some relatively minor changes I could make to support Titanium Desktop, so I went ahead and did that today. Now let's see how to set up a desktop project in Titanium Studio so that it compiles your CoffeeScript files each time you build and run the project. So let's switch over to Titanium Studio here. You'll see I've already created a desktop project which I've called Desktop Coffee Test. It has the standard index.html which comes with as a template with all desktop projects that you create. Except I have added an ID tag to the div that shows the welcome message. And I've put in a script tag that's going to run the script test.js. Now of course since we want to use CoffeeScript for this project that means I had to create a file named test.coffee which I did. It's very simple it, it just sets an onclick listener on the div that shows the welcome message. If the user clicks that div they get another welcome message. So now let's see how to set up the project so that each time it's built a script is run namely that plugin.py that goes through and compiles all the .coffee files into .js files. I'm going to click here on some white space so I can right click and choose properties. Sorry, you can't see properties. It's outside the window. But it does pull up the properties for... whoops, that's wrong. You can also go to Project Properties on the menu, but since I'm not showing the menu here, I wanted to right-click and do it. So you do need to show the properties for Desktop Coffee Test dialog. I'm going to look under Builders here, and here are the standard builders that run for each Titanium Desktop project. I'm going to create a new builder and put it above these two builders so that it compiles the coffee files before these builders kick in. So I'm going to click New here. The kind of builder I'm going to run is just a program. Now this dialog is also a bit big, so I'm going to pull it down here. I'm going to name this the Compile the Coffee Script Builder. The program location is just the Python interpreter, since I'm going to run that plugin.py file. So I'm going to go ahead and just put slash user slash bin slash Python. Of course, depending on your operating system, this will be different. I do need to set the working directory to the project directory. The modifications that I made to plugin.py today count on the fact that the working directory is the plot project. So I can set the variables here, or to select a variable, namely the project location variable. Finally, there's the arguments. The ar remember, we're just, we're just running the Python interpreter here, so the arguments uh, there's a single argument, and, that, and that's the plugin.py script itself. So in my case on OS X, I put that in application, no sorry, slash library, slash application support. And note that I'm using full quotes because of the space in application. Titanium, plugins, ty coffee plugin version 1.0 plugin.py then I click the OK button which unfortunately you can't see and now you can see that there's a new builder available but I want to move it up so that it runs before the titanium builder so that the JS files get built or get compiled created. Now I'm going to click OK here.
Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just run the project. And click on the welcome message. And indeed, the alert popped up. As you can see, that's quite simple to set up. So I hope you enjoy using CoffeeScript and Titanium in your Titanium desktop projects.